have a critical mind, think, understand, be honest with yourself. Because I'm going to be honest with myself. So be honest with yourself. Because I'm about to go in here regarding this post and body counts. Okay? Now, on the post that I made on my page, Damian Michaels, you can check it out. It was on November 25th at 1.24 p.m. I made a post regarding women, their body count, and how that ties into their value. Now, when I made the post, I specifically directed that post at women. Now, everybody knows Damian Michaels has, you can go on my YouTube page. Actually, you're probably already on it if you're watching this video. But if you look, you'll see videos about sex, orgasms, you know, premature ejaculation. You will see posts about not watching porn. You will see posts about semen retention. You can go on Instagram or even go on my page and you will see other posts about me explaining to men how they can't just be putting their dick in every single woman and, you know, busting off their seeds. They have to choose the correct woman because she's going to be the mother of your child and so on and so forth. I've done this for time and time again. Okay? I have multiple posts on my page talking about the chemicals in women's products. The, the chemicals and in, um, in all the, uh, the the feminine hygiene products. Um, how to alleviate cysts and fibroids and how, you know, the diet, you know, helps alleviate, you know, women's, um, you know, cramps and heavy bleeding and so on and so forth. And I know if you're a feminist right now and you're looking at me you're like, there he goes again, mansplaining your program. That's your algorithm. You're programmed. You understand that? That's from your feminist group. That's your little, your little, your little stiff arm that y'all came up with so that any time a man starts to explain anything like he normally would that regards you, you want to deflect it as mansplaining. But do you notice that when women talk about men being deadbeat fathers, men being abusive, men using them, men being players, men not being loyal, we don't call it woman-splaining. When y'all tell us what we need to do, how we need to go get a job, figure things, we don't call it woman-splaining. It's just you telling us what needs to be said. So why is all of a sudden there's mansplaining? Where does that even come from? Do you know 65% of the gynecologists in this country are men? That's who you open your legs for. That's who checks you out down there. When you talk to them and you fill out paperwork and they talk to you and stuff, are they mansplaining your vagina and what you need to do with it and stuff? Are they mansplaining then? Just get rid of that mansplaining shit. It just shows how programmed you are. Oh, you're mansplaining. No, I'm explaining something very specifically. Now, back to this fucking post. Why your body count matters, ladies. Again, let's not get upset. Any woman on the planet knows that her hodum is going to affect the male that she attracts. Let me just go back into the post, though. I want to read it. Ladies, your body count is your value. Period. Read it again. Now, right there, that cuts. Don't think I don't know what I'm doing. I know that cuts. Because I just said your value is tied into your body count. Now, immediately, you're just going to go... Well... Well, I did. You already know where your shame lies. Just like any man out there knows where his shame lies. Like, we know if we're dogs. We know if we're players. We know if we're not worthy of a good girl. We know this. We understand that. Okay? All I was saying with this post was, your body count is tied into your value. Since a lot of you think it's not. I didn't even know that until... Y'all went crazy with this post, but I'm going to keep going because it seems like the only problem with this post was I didn't bring up men, but today wasn't man day. All right. I already yelled at the dudes about porn. I yelled at them about jerking off. I yelled at them about seeing retention. I already yelled at them about being two minute men and not being able to get y'all off. I yelled at them about all of that shit. 
I already went in on them. So if I decide one day to just direct something towards women, you if the shoe fits, wear it. You know, if you if you didn't do and I'm gonna go through the post, I'm gonna go through it. I'm only at the top right now. If it doesn't fit you, it shouldn't have hurt you. Okay? There is no king or no prince or no arranged marriage around the planet that has been arranged with a whore. There aren't any arranged marriages, princes or kings marrying women that have already been, you know, opened up by a few other men. Why would somebody of royalty do that? What I just now said is a fact. You all know that. They practice it's very, very heavy in other cultures. But here in our culture, we let that go. We let Little Kim, Trina, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, the feminist movement, along with the LGBT, just take our women and just go, open your legs, fuck away, men are doing it, you can do it too, fuck your value, why should they be able to? And now, we are what we are now. We're dealing with a whole bunch of, a bunch of savages, and when I say savages, I mean Women who do not respect the sanctity of their vagina to the point to understand that it is a sacred thing that not any male or multiple males should be able to access. Any woman of value knows that. The less amount of males that have entered, the higher your value remains. Now, I'm not saying that this has to deal with your personality and you as a person and all that. You have to be conscious enough to understand what it is I'm talking about. I'm talking about in regards to the whole entire picture. I had a talk with my friend and he said the same exact thing. He said, yes, you will get married. Yes, you're deserving of love. You still will find love. But on the same note, you just have to understand that a man that understands what happens to a woman over time after she's been used and abused by multiple men is not going to want that trauma, okay? And we have to understand that a woman has had a relationship with one or two men over a long period of time and had two penises and that's all she had to deal with her whole life. That is totally different than a female who's been a slut in high school, came out of high school, then she went into college, then she slept with this guy, she slept with this person, and she slept with that guy's friend. All her friends know she's a hoe, and this, that, and the third. Is anybody going, oh, wow, any day now she should be married? Let's be honest with ourselves. You know your fucking hoe-ass friends out there. Are you just going, oh, wow, yeah, I know Tisha sucks everybody's dick, and she's always in the club just doing some hoe-ass shit, you know, and she's always leaving some dude's house every weekend, but... Any day now, she's going to get married to a good man. Do y'all really say that? Be honest with yourselves. Don't sit there and go, oh, Damian Michaels is this de demon. He's evil. He's saying, you know, our body count is tied to our value. It is the same way my body count is tied to my value. You got a guy around town, and he's fucking all the girls, and you heard he fucked your friend, and he fucked her, and then he, 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 he she sucked his dick, and then she didn't call him back again, or something like that, this, that, and the third. When that guy comes up to you to, hey, uh, how you doing, this, that, and the third, what are you going to do? You going to, you already know where his value is. Let me ask you a question. Would any of you ladies like to go out with Future for a night? Hang out with him? Spend time with Future? I just want to spend time with Future. Future's a good guy, right? Wrong. Future is a piece of shit. He's decreased his value. <laughs> Sticks his dick and everything, just bust nuts and everything, leaves kids over here. It's value. It's done. You talk about it all the time. 
What the fuck makes you think it doesn't apply to you? It applies to you too. Let's keep going back to the post. Ladies, your body count is your value, period. Read it again. Now go over your ridiculous body count and how you got to that number. And now ask yourself if any man should value you more than he values a girl with two bodies or less. And that's, does, how does that feel? Does it hurt? Does it hurt? It shouldn't hurt. It's a, it's a very, very honest statement. Your body count is tied into your value. Now just think about your ridiculous body count. Now if you know your body count is up there and you're like losing count, you're like, oh man, you're like, oh my God, he only lasted two minutes. He didn't even fucking make me come. I really don't even want to count that. Do y'all understand how far gone we've gone that fucking vagina is just fucking losing its value? To the point where women are literally just like saying, oh, if, if, if the dick wasn't even good, I'm not even counting the body. Like you just got so many. You can just discount some, like, you know, scratch some off. You know what I'm saying? Like, and again, let's just, let's, imp let's look at this from 360 degrees. Even the word body count. We come up with body count. We call it body count. If I say your body count nowadays, we're not talking about your kills on fucking so calm. If I say body count, what are we talking about? Your body count. If we have this term body count, you know it matters. It matters. Let's go back to the post. All right. Go over your ridiculous body count, how you got to that number. Now ask yourself if any man want to value you over a girl that has two bodies or less. Any man out there knows you don't. And for all you fucking beta ass bitch dudes that just wanted to be like, oh, you're wrong for saying this and women still have value. Shut the fuck up, dude. Shut the fuck up. If you see a girl over there that you want to talk to, that you think we want that one day wants to be your wife, and then your friend tells you that girl left the bar that day and got ran a train on by that dude in the back that was drinking, that dude that was outside smoking cigarettes, and his fat homeboy, and she sucked him off, please, please fucking tell me your beta bitch, I just want to be liked by women ass, is still going to go up to her and try and bag her number and make her wifey. Stop it, man. Stop it. And wait till I get back on Facebook. I'm going live and I'm crushing y'all fake ass fucking people, yo. Y'all fake. Next. I even made an example in this post. Because my man told me straight out he is keeping his girl and values her because he was her second body. Conversation I had with my friend. He's just like, yo, no matter what, yo, I ain't not losing this girl, yo. You know how many bodies she's had? One, one, I am the second dude. His eyes just lit up. He felt special. He felt loved. You know why? Because he had something of value. Again, don't start getting all hurt. Don't start feeling some way because you had a whole life. It happens. I had a whole life too. It's just I own up to this shit. I'm not going to sit around and, and act like, you know, that, that's not, that shoe don't fucking fit me. The fucking shoe fits. Put it on. Back to the post. My boy, you know, he told me that he selected his girl because he was a second body. I just told y'all that part. Next. We value that. We cherish it. It means you don't have multiple dicks in your vagina, multiple dicks in your mouth, been bent over every which way, been ran through during a train, passed around, devalued, have had your sexuality watered down and bland because you've been hoeing most of your life. And it happens. Some of you can't even function on an orgasmic level because you're so, you, you become so accustomed to just giving Lame, weak-ass, low-vibrational dudes your pussy that don't value you, so they hop in it, give you one to two minutes of sex, and then they hop out, and then after a while, you just completely lose. You're, you lose everything because you just, you can't get off, you start to go up into your head, you don't even know if it's you, or if it's them, or if there's some problem that's going on, and all of this is happening because of what? The vagina is not being valued, and... Your sexuality is being watered down by bum-ass dick, lame-ass dick, fucking premature ejaculation-ass dick over time. And your sexuality gets watered down. 
Like, it literally gets watered down. You don't even look forward to having long periods of sex or any of those experiences because they've just been numb. They've just been numbed down by a bunch of nothingness over time. Moving, move, moving right along. We can't even wipe you up because everybody in the city hit and we don't want to embarrass ourselves by committing to community pussy. This is what Damian Michael said. I want y'all to fucking tell me what lie. Hold on, let me try and find the lie here. Can't wipe you up because everybody in the city hit and we don't want to embarrass ourselves by committing to community pussy. The same fucking way you women don't want to look goofy sitting around with a dude that has three baby mamas and already slept with like four of your friends. Okay? And for your fucking, your fucking weak ass bitch beta niggas out there that want to fucking, you're going to say, uh, you know, yeah man, yeah dude, I can't believe you. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. How many times? How many times have you heard growing up? Yo, yo, I can't believe dude kissing her. Yo, she sucked my dick. Yo, 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 she sucked my dick too. Yo, that's fucking crazy, yo. That nigga, yo, you <laughs> laughing at him. <laughs> yo, I skied it all over her face. <laughs> no value. Dude getting laughed at around town. You can't even hold your head high. You can't even go, yeah, this is my girl. Why? Because every time she goes somewhere, somebody... Hey, what up, Tay? I ain't see you around in a while. Hey, what up, Tay? Hey, I ain't see you around in a while. Yo, dumbass sick. Don't act, bro. I'm putting y'all on blast. Don't act like you ain't been there, bro. Don't act like you ain't been trying to wipe up some devalued pussy and realize once you went around town that everybody done had it and you're not that fucking special. Moving right along since we want to be fake. In 2019, we're going to break this shit up in 2020. I'm fucking y'all up. Can't even wipe you up because everybody in the city hit. And we don't want to embarrass ourselves by committing to community pussy. Other men also don't value you as a man because all you did was pull something that him and his homies ran through. There's no value. There's no guy on the planet that wants to show you off or, you know, be seen with you in public. You know, if he already knows that, you know, you've been ran through by everybody. You get what I'm saying? That could be a guy that actually likes you. Actually likes you. And he'll find out that you got ran through. And because of your whole lifestyle, he'll come see you on the low. He'll come fuck you on the low. But he ain't going to be seen out there with you in the streets like you his girl, like you his homie. Why? Because you depreciated that vagina. I don't give a fuck what any of you are saying. I don't care. Everything I just said is 100% true. Don't try and deny that. Back to the post. You get no respect as a man. Plus, you... Actually, let's go that... Let's slide that on back. <laughs> slide that on back. When I say you don't get no respect as a man, let's slide that on back. How do y'all feel when dudes sit there and marry and settle for hoes that everybody done ran through? You laugh at them, don't you? You laugh at them, right? You laugh. You're like, oh yeah, whatever, right? Nothing exclusive, nothing special about that. Isn't that what we do? No, Damian Michaels, you're lying. We don't do that. Oh, you don't? Jennifer Lopez has memes all over the place, laughing, joking, clowning her ass. Why? Everybody had her. People on Living Color had her. Her, she, her dancer had her. Diddy had her. Probably somebody in Diddy's camp had her. Alex Rodriguez had her. Mark Anthony had her. And the list goes on. So now you got memes with Jennifer out there putting another ring on her finger and everybody clowning her. Oh yeah, she must be on her fifth ring, her eighth ring, her ninth ring, her, her, her 20th body. So y'all can keep acting like the body value doesn't count. But um, yeah. Ooh. back to the post. You get no respect as a man. Plus, you don't taste the same. 
winning or even receiving your pussy feels like nothing. Why would it feel like something? There is no man I ever knew growing up in the hood or no guy that has ever been like, yeah, yo, I fucked A. Because it's just going to be like, everybody, everybody fucked A. She sucked my little brother's dick too for $20. What do you mean? You, you didn't do anything. People can act fake as you, can act as, fake as you want. This is 100% real. This is real life. We've all been there. We've all had this conversation already. Ah, back to the post. Winning or even receiving your pussy feels like nothing. Nothing really. Why would it? 25 to 50 plus niggas already smashed you out. I'm not special and don't feel special. Being honest as a man. When we get a woman that's like a virgin, we feel... Now ladies, don't... I'm going hard because... I, I don't like the fakeness. You understand? All I said was, your body count is your value. It holds your value. You need to understand that. Any woman in India or any woman in an Arab country, or they would automatically, they, they can look at this post and be like, eh. If I go get my fucking hymen popped, I'm fucked. I'm getting stoned to death. I just fucking ruined the entire arranged marriage and I just disrespected and embarrassed my whole entire fucking family because I wanted to go out and just have one dick. One. In our culture, we don't have anything that applies to anything, you know, that would make you want to reel in your sexuality. So, unfortunately, the program here is to loosen up the males by loosening up the sacredness of the vagina. That's why every single time y'all get a role model female, she tells y'all, go out there, fuck these men, do what you want to do, don't let them, it ain't okay for them just to do it. Yeah, I fucked him, this, that, and the third, and I left, and I, da, da. Don't fall for the fucking programming, man. Just like I tell the dudes, don't listen to the music telling them, yeah, all you hoes, you skeet, skeet. No, don't be busting off. Don't be doing that. Wait till you meet the right thing, the right wound, the right woman, and bust in that. Don't just go out there, skeet, 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 ah, 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 this, that. Don't go do that. I tell the dudes not to do it all the time. So why the fuck would you think for one second on one post that I wouldn't check the females on their newfound, new age, savage, we fuck like men, we can disperse our pussies too, age. And then try and put it under the guise of some kind of spiritual freedom of sexuality to, to explore ourselves and blah, blah. Get the fuck out of here. Okay? Your body count matters. It holds value. Back to the post. Why? Nothing really. Why would it? Because 25 to 50 plus niggas already smashed you out. I'm not special and don't feel special. That's why a lot of you get left with kids and stuff. Because men look at you as a number and not as a woman of value. Now, when I say that, don't don't look at it and go, Oh my God, Damien Michael said because I slept with these guys. I'm not worthy of being a woman. And that's why I got left with these kids because I'm nothing but a hoe. Be a critical thinker and a look at the psychology of the entire situation and what it is I'm trying to tell you. What I'm trying to tell you is, is if you're out there and you're hoeing, like a lot of you know your friends are fucking doing. Alright? Y'all still trying to defend shit after your friend done got one, two baby daddies on the third baby daddy and you're still trying to defend them. Okay? Just stop. Okay? Just stop. The point that I'm trying to make here is that you get left with the kids because he never valued you from the beginning. You understand? That's, that's not the only reason, that's not the only situation, but it has a very, very high percentage to do with it. Because when men value you, when men value you, they don't leave you with children. 
even if the relationship doesn't work, they will still do everything in their power to support you and to support their kid. When men don't value you, they'll just come in, nut, and walk off. And when you have one, and you already let the last dude walk off, and everybody else in the neighborhood know that this person hit, that person hit, and this person hit, the next dude's going to come around and he's going to look, and if you're taking care of one kid by yourself, or two kids by yourself, and he just see this is just easy peasy, and I can just, you know, come over here and bring the kids some snacks, and I'm up in here fucking... I'm just going to nut up in this. If she get pregnant, she get pregnant, whatever. I'll stop by every now and then like the other niggas. Well, she can beg me for some money. Why? Because he does not value you. Again, I didn't even say anything about you. I'm telling you how men are going to respond to the way you value yourself. And that ties into you respecting yourself and having people respect you the same way. Understand? I'm not just throwing women under the bus and just saying, oh, you had sex with like 10 guys, you're not worth shit, you should stay home, you're never getting married, nobody loves you. I'm not saying that. I'm saying simply that your body count is tied into your value and it will reflect on that. Back to the post, let's go. Because men look at you as a number and not as a woman of value. Same reason we don't waste time in a courting ritual. We already know you done fucked some dude the first night or the first week, so why should we put in that effort? Now, if you have maybe three bodies from three long-term relationships, then you aren't a new dick hunter. You make relationships work and only give up your yoni in those situations where a man has committed to you. What did I just now say? I just now said when we're talking to you or we're assessing your body count, okay, we can read in to whether or not you're a hold'em or not. If you're sitting there going, oh, I had this relationship with that and that didn't work and then this guy didn't work and then that guy didn't work and then this guy didn't work and that guy didn't work, and da, 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 he just slept with me and he ain't called me back and da, da, da. No, there's something wrong. There's an underlying issue going on, an underlying issue of insecurity or something or some kind of love missing and you go out there and you look for it in guys and those guys, you know, give you the idea that they're going to give you the love they want if you give them some pussy. And so you give them some and you keep doing it over and over and over and over and over again until you finally snap out of that and start actually loving yourself. Now, don't sit there and act like what I just said is not 100% true. You all have done it. How do I know? I've been the guy to take advantage of you when you did it. I'm the guy. You understand? So I know what it is y'all do when you don't value yourself. I'm a man. A woman who values herself, she carries herself a certain way, you're going to respect that woman always more than you respect a hoe. Who respects Nicki Minaj and Cardi B? Hoes? City girls? Yeah, get that dad. <laughs> yeah, suck that dick. Right? No morals. Okay? Then you have other women on the other spectrum. They're on the, uh, they're on the Erica Badu list when they're, you know, lock the pussy up, celibate, none of this, none of that, maintain my value. Right? But as soon as Damian Michaels ties by the accountant to value, all of a sudden he's a demon because he's a man and he's mansplaining. Okay. Back to the post. We we see all of this actually after that I said from three long-term relationships, then you aren't a new dick hunter. And that's another thing. We talk to a girl and she's like, I was in a three-year, I was in a three-year relationship with this guy and yada, yada, yada happened and that didn't work. And then, you know, I got out of that relationship. And then I kind of got into a little fling with this guy. That was whatever. It was just like my little rebound thing. Da, da, da. And then after that, I met Greg and, you know, we were, you know, we, you know, that's the relationship I just got over. It's been a four or five year relationship, blah, blah, blah. This, then the third. You have more value for her. You understand that she wasn't just hoeing. It wasn't just free. She wasn't just getting trains ran. She just wasn't collecting bodies the whole time. 
She was literally trying to just find a good man and have a committed relationship. You know, and men are manipulative. They will manipulate and lie to you to get your fucking pussy. I know. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. I know. Okay? We see all of these assets. We see all of this. And assess this when we want to establish a long-term relationship. If we just want some pussy, then none of this matters. But no man ever just wants some pussy from a high-quality female of value. God damn, I'm making some good points here, but all everybody heard was line one. Ladies, your body count is your value, period. Read it again. That's all everybody heard on this post, and they just ran with that. Nobody went into the breakdown. I'll say it again. If we just want, if we all see all of this and assess this when we want to establish a long-term relationship, if we just want some pussy, then none of this matters. But no man ever just wants some pussy from a high-quality female of value. Any man that has a high-quality female of value will tell you straight out the gate, I met this girl, I want to marry this girl. We ain't even thinking vagina. We're thinking, I want to marry this girl, I want to keep this girl, I value this girl. This girl has value. No man goes and finds, now I know, and that's the funny thing, when I brought up this post, instead of actually owning up to what it is I said, you have to got to look at the comments of how many women deflected to this. Well, how would you know how many bodies she had? This is absolutely ridiculous. How would you know if she had two or if she had 50? One, you ask. Two, you simply talk to her. Three, don't deal with some lying ass fucking chick. If you, if you, if you can't fucking get, if you can't even assess or figure out that information, then what the fuck is the point? And if you ladies are out there going, well, how would you figure out and how would you... What's the problem with just answering the question about your body count? Do you feel like if I asked or if we asked the ladies their body count that they would lie about it? Because I'm pretty sure y'all heard many, many times, you ask a lady about a body count, it's a waste of time. You might as well just add 10 or 20 because they always lie. Really? Now, I'm just telling you, this, 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 is, this, is, this is true. Everything I'm telling you is true. It's 100%. Okay? This, this, this happens every day all the time. Nobody wants to talk about the body count. Nobody wants to mention it. Why? Because we're ashamed. We know 